Hi, I'm Jamin Collar, and I'm going to help you with the triad section. There's basically four different types of triads, uh, major, minor, augmented, and diminished triads. And uh, I'm going to show you how to find them by interval, by relationship, and by sound today. So let's get started. As you might have guessed, triads get their name because there's three notes that we're going to be playing all at the same time. So three, tri, triad. Um, first, let's take a look at the major chord, the major triad. Uh, we can start on any note. In this case, we're going to start on C. And we go up four half steps. So one, two, three, four. Right there, that's our second note. We've already got two of the three notes that we need. Then we're going to go up three half steps after that. So one, two, three. There we go. That is our C major triad because we started on C and then we went up four half steps and we went up three half steps. Let's try that on F sharp. This is F sharp. We're going to build an F sharp major triad. So we're going to go up four half steps. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go up three half steps. One, two, three. There you go. That's your F sharp major triad. Now, because we're using the same number of half steps, the bottom note and the top note are still going to be the same distance apart. So we still end up on that G for that C minor triad, but the half step numbers are switched. Three half steps is on the bottom and four half steps is on top. Now up to our F sharp, this is going to be the root three half steps, one, two, three, and then four half steps, one, two, three, four. So that is our F sharp minor triad. We've just got two left, the diminished and then the augmented. Let's start with the diminished. We're going to start on our root. In this case, we're going to pick C, and then we're going to go up three half steps. One, two, three. And then we're going to go up three half steps again. One, two, three. That is your C diminished triad. Let's try the same thing starting on F sharp. So F sharp, then up three half steps. One, two, three. Then again, three half steps. One, two, three. That's your F sharp diminished triad. Lastly, we have augmented. So let's start on a root. We're going to pick C. We're going to go up four half steps. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go up four half steps again. One, two, three, four. So you might notice that both the diminished and the augmented triads have the same number of half steps in between each of the notes that we play. The diminished triad uses three between each of the notes that we play, and the augmented uses four between each of the, one, the notes that we play, whereas the major and the minor uh, have three and four, uh, depending on which kind of triad it is. They use three half steps and then four half steps, or four half steps and three half steps. Now on F sharp, we start on F sharp, and we go up again four half steps, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, there you have your F sharp augmented triad. So that's how you find triads by interval, but there's another way to find triads too, probably more common than that. And that is to find your major triad and then alter it to get either the minor, the diminished or the augmented from there. So let's take the C major triad. If you already know that this is a C major triad, to turn that into a minor triad, all you're gonna do is take this middle note right here, which we sometimes call the three, and we're gonna lower it. That right there is a C minor triad. So either we could do it by interval by going one, two, three half steps, and then one, two, three, four half steps, or we could just find the major triad and lower the three. Now from there, if we also lower this note, which is sometimes called the five, now we come up with the C diminished triad. So we've got C major, lower this note, and we get the minor, lower this note, and we get the diminished. Now, if we take the original, C major triad, and we just raise this note right here, which is called the five. We just raise that. Now we've got augmented. So again, major triad, we lower the three, we get minor. We lower the five as well, we get diminished. But you take the same major triad and raise the five, and you have the augmented. Let's try it on F sharp. So here's our F sharp major triad. To get the minor, we're going to lower the three. Now this is F sharp minor. If we lower the five, we're gonna get F sharp diminished. And if we take the original triad and we raise the five, that's F sharp augmented. 
So there you go. That's two different ways to find triads, either by interval, counting the half steps in between the notes, or you can find the major triad if you're real familiar with, with your major triads, and then just alter it to get your minor, your diminished, or your augmented. There's uh, one last characteristic I'd like to show you, though, about these chords, and that is they all have a very distinct sound. Uh, the major triad... You can usually recognize because it sounds kind of generally stable and happy. You could just kind of land there and it would all sound happy. It's got that nice happy sound to it. Um, and then the minor ones have that generally stable but unhappy sound. So that right there. It's got that unhappy sound, but it sounds stable. Uh, it's, it's not one to move anywhere else. Whereas the diminished triad is very unstable. It usually wants to cave in and change chords to something else. Or if we go to the F sharp diminished. So the diminished triad doesn't sound like one that you would necessarily want to end on. Uh, likewise, the augmented triad it's not really leading anywhere real specific, but it sounds like it's not a comfortable place to end a song. So if it sounds happy and stable, you've got a major triad. If it sounds unhappy but still stable, it's probably minor. If it sounds extremely unstable, and you can kind of hear that it's leaning very definitely to something else, then it's probably diminished. And if it sounds unstable but you don't know where it wants to go, you might be listening to an augmented triad. Well, that's it for triads. Good luck. Have fun.